So I want to talk now about a philosophy uh, that we have during this course about AI as a partner. And uh, actually, before I get that, uh, get to that, I wanted to just share the results. Uh, two thirds of you participated. Thank you for that. Um, about 50% of you have used it for both business and personal use. Only 16% of you are not sure what AI is. Uh, one quarter of you have not used ChatGPT. An equal number of you are using it five or more times a week. A lot of you, when you actually see the AI tools that you use, have used many of them. Uh, only about 12% of you have never used an AI tool. But by and, by and large, the tools that you're using are either voice assistants or text. We're going to go into image, video, and search, uh, and you're going to see the incredible possibilities for that. And many, many of you have saved hundreds of dollars uh, by using these AI tools. Uh, about 20% of you have saved either hundreds or thousands of dollars. I'm in the thousands camp. Uh, Nicole, how much money would you say you've either made or saved? Just kind of ballpark. It's probably in the tens or hundreds of thousands. I was going to say it's at least tens of thousands for yeah. sure. Yeah, that's what an early, so she's lucky. She's been on this bandwagon longer than us. So that's what her results have been. So let's talk about AI as a partner. And this is kind of the philosophy of this course. Uh, you know, we heard earlier about the kind of doomsday scenarios that the Elon Musks of the world are saying. And there is real truth and there are real risks to this technology. But what I wanted to share with you is a, a story from the, the history of AI that talks about um, really how we are framing AI and how we recommend you think about it as well. So I don't know if you remember, but you know, we talked about in the history of AI, you know, beating Jeopardy champions and beating people at Go. Well, there was another seminal moment, which was beating Gary Kasparov in, in chess. And I don't know if you remember this, but at one point, Deep Blue beat Gary Kasparov, the greatest grand champion in the history of chess. And there were headlines bemoaning the end of human intelligence and gnashing of teeth. But there's a part of this story that Walter Isaacson talks about in his book, The Innovators, that is rarely told, which is what happened next. So they then organized another tournament. And in this tournament, Gary Kasparov and Deep Blue participated as individual participants. But there were computer scientists who also loved chess who played as well. And there was one set of computer scientists who were decent chess players, not grandmasters by any stretch, but who really knew how to engineer prompts and how to interpret data from AI. They leveraged three different artificial intelligence programs and they ended up winning the tournament, beating both the greatest grandmaster in history, Gary Kasparov, and the greatest artificial intelligence uh, model to date, Deep Blue. And the lesson here is very simple. It's not AI versus human. It's AI plus human versus humans alone. We are dedicated to helping you learn how to be AI, human plus AI. Because human plus AI is future ready. And human without AI is going to get left behind. With where AI is today, and I'm making no predictions about where it's headed, but with where AI is today, it is an imperfect tool. It's like a really smart grad student who you have as a research assistant or a really creative thinker who always comes out with cool out of the box ideas. It's up to you to know what to ask them and then how to interpret what they share with you so that you can make the most of it for your business. So what we're gonna do is really focus on the AI plus human partnership and get you the most out of it. Let me give you an example that I bet most of you aren't aware of about what this partnership can look like and how cool it can be. So a lot of people think about ChatGPT and all the fancy cutting edge software that folks like Nicole have been working with uh, for years. But did you know that there is AI built into Microsoft's tools like PowerPoint? If you go into the slideshow menu right now and you look, there's something called Rehearse with Coach. 
And Rehearse with Coach is an artificial intelligence program that allows you to practice your pit, your speech, and then it will evaluate on pacing, pitch, use of filler words, informal speech, euphemisms, culturally sensitive terms. It'll detect if you're going too fast or you're being too wordy or you're reading the text like I am right now. It would penalize me. It says you're reading the text. And then after each rehearsal, you get a report with statistics. And this is actual screenshots from what that would look like. And what's really crazy and really cool is sensitive phrases. If you use the term best man for the job, it'll tell you might be culturally insensitive in some areas. So it is really doing an incredible job of providing an artificial intelligence like a coach for your work. And this is built in to a tool that almost all of us have used and use regularly. That's what we mean by AI as a partner.